for my HelloFresh. It's going to be this chicken. It's a chicken pizza. All the ingredients are going to be right down here. That's two cheese, one tomato. That's a heat spice, so it means it's probably hot. I don't want that. So we'll put that there. And then the broccoli for the pizza. And it's, and it's you're making it with flatbread and then a chicken. So let's see. <clears throat> it says preheat. Step one is preheat the broiler, seasoned chicken. Baking sheet, what you need is a baking sheet, paper towel, large pan, and olive oil. Seven tablespoons. Seven teaspoons. Something about 14 teaspoons. I don't know, it's confusing. See that? Focusing on focus, focus. There it goes. That's the first step. There's the second step. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth step. Okay. And I like to sit right here so I can read it. There's a chicken they sent. I just took this out of the freezer. Well, I really out of the fridge because I stuck it in the freezer overnight. <clears throat> so, everything's been cleaned. I got to my, um, there's the bag it came in. It's right there, it's the name of it. <clears throat> got my pan with the paper, parchment paper on it. Okay, I'm going to wash and I'm going to go over and clean the chicken off. Got the chicken all cleaned and on the plate. Now i got to season it. The oven's already being preheated. They say, um, let me turn that down a little bit. They say, never mind. Got to wash your chicken and stuff. They don't tell you you need a plate. That should be on the thing too. Add a, make sure you have a plate in it. If you get all your stuff ahead of time, it goes faster. Okay, they want you to season the chicken. Pre-boiler, rinse chicken, then pat dry. With paper towel, season all with, all over with salt. And the heat spice. I'm going to see what that heat spice is before I even attempt to put it on here. I'm patting it dry like they said. Here's my salt. I season it with salt. It's not a whole bunch. Okay, I'll open this and smell it. See how hot it smells. It does smell real hot, so we'll just put a little bit on it. I don't like spicy myself, neither does my husband. Okay, and then I think they want you to flip it over and do the other side. I'm going to heat my pan up. I'm using olive oil. I put the olive oil in the pan. So I'm going to wait for that to get heated up and then I'll put the chicken in the pan. Here's my pan. So 
out of my way. They say no longer than two minutes on each side. We'll see. Okay, they say to cook the chicken. Two minutes on each side. Put the broccoli in there. If you don't have enough oil, add more. Okay, so cook the broccoli now. If you cut it into bite-sized pieces, so it's going in the pan. I have a bigger piece than this, so. Okay, and then I had to dice up the tomato. Let's do the one tomato and the broccoli. And it's just stir it around. Looks like I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil to it, though, because it looks kind of dry. Okay, see what So I said cook it for like three minutes. Saute it, whatever. And so that's about done. I'll just shut that off. And then the chicken's all cut up bite-sized pieces, I said, so that's done. Next. Here's the next steps. Step four, assemble flatbread. <coughs> Scatter mozzarella in an even layer over flatbread, followed by chicken, broccoli, and tomatoes. Carefully remove baking sheet from oven and sprinkle with a drizzle of olive oil. <coughs> I take it they wanted you to heat your pan up. <coughs> Place flatbread on sheet and sprinkle each with drizzle of olive oil. Carefully return sheet to broiler and broil flatbread until cheese melts and starts to brown three to four minutes. Tip flatbread occasionally for any burning. Remove flatbread from broiler. Sprinkle with another drizzle of olive oil. Season with salt. If desired, let flatbread rest for one minute, then cut into slices. Okay, I'm going to do it in the 400 degree oven. I'm not doing the broiler because my husband doesn't like anything too crisp. Okay, it says, I took it out of the oven, heated it up a little bit. I'm going to put the cheese on. Okay, so they add after the cheese. The olive oil, you add the chicken. You're supposed to divide it for before between two of them. This is supposed to be enough for two, so let's do this. <clears throat> Looks like you want more on the edges too, because otherwise. <clears throat> I like to have some in each bite or something, right? Close to the edges more. Okay, I gotta get the veggies. I know I'll like this with the veggies like this on here. I'm not sure my husband will. He likes pizza, but he likes the uh, basic. find out. I think it's going to be delicious, but kind of little, even it out between dishes. I was worried about being crunchy, but it's not going to. That's good. And this is all the tomatoes and the broccoli. I get it all some everywhere. Spread it out. There you go, it's all evenly spread out. I guess if people like more cheese, you can put more cheese on top. I might actually do that, but I used all of what they gave me on the bottom because that's where they said to put it. But I think I might put some on top because I'm not doing the broiler. Hang on. Okay, what's pizza without cheese, right? You can add, I mean, if people want to add onions or garlic or whatever they want, you can do it the way you want too. But they, all the way up to this part, me with the extra cheese, they didn't do this. So I have some cheese I need to use anyway, so I'm not going to use it up on this pizza. And then it's supposed to go in the oven. If you put it in the broiler, it's only supposed to be like four minutes. But I'm not putting it in the broiler. I'm putting it in the oven. So we'll see. Okay, I'm putting it in the oven. 
I'm going to set them for about like 10 minutes. Let's see what happens. Because I'm not using the broiler. They say broiler. Oops, my arm's in the way. Okay, just pulled it out of the oven. They say let it set for a couple minutes before you cut it so it can cool. So we'll see what happens. Okay, we're going to cut it now. taste one. See? I think it tastes really good. You gotta like broccoli and stuff to like it. Hopefully my husband likes it. <clears throat> okay, that's Hello Fresh. I think it'd really be good. I was talking to my daughter because my daughter homeschools. To do this like a home ec class for her daughter or even her son too and then that way they can learn cooking step by step like that i mean she can teach you what she knows but this is just teaching me stuff i don't know so it might help them in case they want to go into being a chef or whatever when they get older <clears throat> but god bless everybody have a good day and um have positive thoughts walk away from negativity and Enjoy your day. God bless and goodbye. Maybe.